Methanol, man. I'm telling you, mix it up. In this video, we're actually going to be getting into some tuning, so stay tuned. Uh, today, Eric is going to be doing some Mazda Speed massaging. He's going to play with some electrons inside his ECU, and um, we're going to see how that works out. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so we're just in the car right now, the Mazda, and uh, we're gonna tune it today on the street. We've got the laptop here, opened up, connected to the access port. Uh, the car has a base map on it right now. Uh, we just did another pull. Uh, we're trying to dial in the air to fuel ratio, make sure it's all good. And then uh, we'll start turning the boost up a little bit and start cranking out different map revisions with more timing in each revision. Every revision that we do, we'll upload the log into virtual dyno and see if the car is making more power with the added timing. If not, revert to the, the last map that we were at and uh, just try to keep everything as safe and keep an eye out for knock, keep an eye on the injector duty cycles when we're up in the boost, keep an eye on the air to fuel ratio, just keep an eye on everything to make sure everything is running safe for every log that we do. So right now I'm just checking to make sure that the, uh, checking the data log in fourth gear here for MathCal is getting a little bit better. Just making sure the boost pressures are consistent at 22 and we're looking pretty good. So now we're gonna start upping the timing a little bit, see if we can get some more power. Just transferring over the modified map with added timing. I'm gonna flash it to the car. One degree at a time. Yeah, we're going up one degree at a time. I've already made several different map ta uh, ignition tables. Now we're just basically copying and pasting different ignition timing tables one degree at a time. Are we done flashing yet? Or no? Are we done flashing yet? Is it done flashing? Yeah, it's done flashing. Hey Eric, you're closer than you appear. Oh. Okay. Alright, so mash sorry. <laughs> mash. The map is now flashed. And uh, what we're gonna do is go back to that private road and do another pull. Let's see what happens. Two pulls here. One made 323, the other made 309. Okay, so the math cal seems to be getting a little bit better as as, uh, as pulls go on, and uh, there's no knock in this log whatsoever because uh, methanol is godsend. In tank methanol, that is. I mean, right now I have the auto math injection disconnected because I'm tuning for exactly what's in the tank, so I can guarantee that if my uh, water methanol injection kit does fail, what's in the tank is still more than enough to be able to handle the amount of power we're putting out. What's in the tank? Uh, 1.5 gallons of methanol. And 94 octane. And 94 octane, yes. Pump gales. Exactly. Pump gales. All right, let's go for another pull now. Just did another uh, revision to the map. Just flashed it. Let's go for another pull. Those motor mounts are really stiff. You can hear the transmission loud and clear. You can hear all the bearings and stuff, release bearings. Wow, look at that. Clutch in, clutch out. Super loud, but you know what? Stiffens everything up, we're good to go. All right, let's get to that road again, that private road. All right, so we got our windows closed this time around to make it easier to hear stuff. degree okay another degree guys oh man it's a lot of work doing this kind of tuning 
I'm telling you, I'm tired of it. I just want to get it over with. Where's my 350 at? I want to get my 350 at the wheels, man. That's all I want. All right, let's do it. So far, so good. That's Dino Jet, though. It's Dino Jet correction factor. Let's check the correction factor 1.01. So, that's probably like what, 320? 3, 330? These are four gear logs, 330 by the way. In, in correction factor 101. 330. Now, because it's not a dyno run, the road is gonna have a factor here. But the good news is we can compare runs with previous maps and get an estimate for how much power we're making because we're using the same road. So technically we've made, I think, 30, roughly 30 wheel horsepower. Um, well, the first run was about 309 on the base base map, and now it's showing 355 on the dyno jet correction factor. The reason why we're using dyno jet correction factor is because it reads high. So, you know, if, if we get to a point where we're like, okay, that's it's kind of high, we should back off. In reality, it's actually making a little bit less. Which is safe. So it's kind of safe. We're using a high factor just so we, we don't try to get greedy and stuff like that. It's always good when the car lasts. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so this is the last map here with the last ignition timing revision. And we're going to call it a day after this because um, the last run gave us 355 wheel horsepower on a dyno jet correction factor. The run previously to that gave us 339. The run previously to that gave us 323. Uh, hopefully this one gives us more than 355 on the dyno jet correction factor. And if it does, then we will call it a day. If it doesn't, we'll just revert back to the other map. And uh, then again, another thing to note is that today is kind of a warmer day. Uh, you're gonna make more power on a colder day. And obviously with the, with the virtual dyno stuff, you wanna be accurate. So accurate with the weight of the vehicle, accurate with the atmospheric pressure. Uh, what gear you're in, obviously, the tire size, everything's got to come together so you get a more accurate uh, horsepower and torque number on virtual dyno. The reason why we're calling it a day today is because um, the injector duty cycles are getting high. They're getting slightly above 90%, running 22 pounds of boost to redline, and um, the more we up the ignition timing, the more the, uh, the, the injector duty cycles seem to go up because the injection window seems to be getting smaller. That's, that's at least what I'm thinking is going on. So. Um, since it's a warmer day, with the injector duty cycles at around 90, on a colder day, it's gonna demand more fuel because it's gonna flow more air, so kinda don't wanna go higher than 90%. It probably could be, could be pushed a little bit further, but um, I think right now we should be okay. So we'll do the final pull on the final revision and uh, see what it's making. The final revision. All right, this is the final revision. Um, let's hope that it makes more than the 355 that it made in the last run. Um, if it doesn't, uh, we'll just revert back to the other map. Let's do this. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today, that looks like some good wine. Awesome. Uh, I got a right freezer though. What is that? Dirt, must be dirt. What? On your thing here? Forehead. No, I saw that today, all day. I thought it was maybe a red spot from when you uh, fall off of your, your bed or something. And you smoked it on the corner. What the hell is that? 
darker in the thing. Okay. Um.